What's up guys, my name's John. Welcome back to Whisper Tactical and today we are going to do the military arms channel style gauntlets test. We are going to do it on the SIG P320 AXG Scorpion. We have water, sand, dirt, mud, and I'm not going to do 10 rounds in a magazine like he does because I can't really afford that. I'm going to do five rounds to show you that the gun will run. I'm going to do seven rounds after water, seven rounds after sand, seven rounds after dirt, seven rounds after mud, rinse it off, and then see if it'll handle every single bit of it. But I'm using 115 grain Remington range and I'm going to set the camera up back here so I don't get it caked in mud. I'm sorry, the sun is extremely bright out here. Maybe I'll be able to tone that down a little bit. All right guys, we are loaded up with five rounds of 115 grain Remington range and we are gonna put five rounds through it really quick. wasn't trying to hit the target sorry for the noise but you see it runs and this is really gonna hurt me so we got seven rounds loaded up here oh <laughs> wait till the bubbles are done put some eye pro on and it seems to do just fine in the water. Seven. All right. Next, we're going with sand. We got seven rounds. So we've got sand, 320 AXG. I'm just going to set it down in it, press it down like he does, flip it over, press it down like he does. And then I'm going to pick it up and shoot it. Handled the sand just fine. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it off in the water. I can feel the gritty in it. So. We are going to go ahead, we're going to lock the slide back, seven rounds, chambered. Now I'm not drying the gun off, I'm not drying the gun off, I don't know if he dries it off after he rinses it, I don't know what he does, so here, push it down, flip it over, push it down. Oh, I didn't pick the camera up, sorry. Load it up, drop it in the dirt, press it, drop it back in the dirt, press it, press it. Now, lift the camera up. Rinse her off. Let's let her soak a little bit. It's gritty, so I'm gonna take it from the water. I'm gonna put it down here in the mud. Uh, we've got seven rounds loaded up. We got seven rounds. All right, mud. Flop. Press it down real good. Flip it over. Press it down. I don't think that's good enough. Get in there. Get in there. All right, seven rounds. Let's raise the camera back up because I'm not doing that again. Ooh, it ran them all. All right, let's go back down to the water. Oh man, that one was uh. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put, it's got, this mag's got 10 rounds in it. I'm gonna load it up. I'm gonna load it up, 10 rounds. It's ready to go. I'm gonna drop it in the water. The bubbles have stopped. I'm gonna put it in the sand. I'm gonna cover it. It's covered. Ooh. 
put it in the sand, it's covered. Put it in the dirt, it's covered. Flip it over, put it in the dirt, it's covered, straight to the mud. That is a, you know what, I think I'm gonna, <laughs> oh, all right, let me get some more mud here. Lay it down. Bah! Bah! Right? This is what happens when your liberal, when your liberal enemies run out of ammo. They throw mud balls. All right, my hands are muddy. The gun's muddy. Get some of the mud off, clear the trigger guard out, and uh, shoot. <laughs> Woo! Ho ho! Did you see that? Uh, we had a we had a something delay happen there. I know mine probably wasn't as good of a test as what you know. Tim does over at the Military Arms Channel. That guy's pretty freaking amazing. And uh, I appreciate what he does. I'm not, I'm not trying to like copy him or anything, but uh, I just wanted to see if this gun would make it through his, make it through his gauntlet challenge. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it did. We did have a little delay there and it went off on its own. I think I was supposed to go a little bit more than what I did, but uh, I just wanted to go ahead and just mash every bit of it together instead of doing it all and waste more ammo. Why not just pile it all on top of there and see if it runs? So maybe he will do his real test on this. I, I can't see. Maybe he will do his real test on this, but as for now, this is what we got. I mean, I got mud all over my face. Uh, so, guys, I'm going to go ahead and rinse her off really good. Actually, I have a bucket for this. He has a water hose. I don't have a water hose here. I'm out in a field. So, I know that when I did the second part of the test, I was supposed to go from water to sand and shoot it and then go to dirt and then shoot it and then go to mud and then shoot it. But I didn't have that much ammo. So, I just went ahead and went all the way. And uh, I'm sorry if you guys don't like that. Uh, I just wanted to get some sort of torture test on this gun. Boy, she is dirty. And that wore the finish off the slide. I didn't expect it to wear the Cerakote off. It is, it's crazy muddy. <laughs> when you take it out of the water and pull the trigger, the firing pin throws water out of the barrel. <laughs> all right guys the p320 axg it had the one little hiccup uh it always catches you off guard whenever you have a uh whenever you have a click no bang and then the round goes off a second later but uh I'm not really sure what happened. I'm not really sure if the firing pin was caught by something, but barely, and then it had s still s enough spring force to throw it forward and hit the round when it came undone. But uh, I really need to take this guy apart. I really need to clean it good now. And uh, uh, Tim, I hope you don't get mad at me. I know I'm probably not even big enough of a channel for you to even care about. I wasn't trying to steal your content or anything like that. I just... I didn't know if you had one of these, and if you got one, it's a collector's item. I didn't know if you were going to gauntlet it or not, so I went ahead and did it for my own, 
for my own interest. Guys, if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, go ahead and give me a subscribe. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Give me, give me some ideas. Help me out. Tell me what you want to see me do, and I'll see if I can make it happen. And other than that, thank you all so much. I really appreciate it, guys. Until next time, I love you. Y'all stay safe.